there, my name is Julie Kraft and I am an author, which means I wrote a book, yes I did, and I'm also an artist, which means I drew all of the pictures in the book. I even drew a picture of myself. Let me get it for you. <gasps> there I am, my funky black glasses and all. I even have the same jacket on. My book is called The Topsy Turvy Tale of Tilda Whirl, and it is the story of a little girl named Tilda. So, who is excited to get started and start reading? I am. Hi, I'm Tilda. I am a sparkly, special, and spunky girl full of feelings that spin and swirl. I love who I am and I love what I do, all of my thoughts and the things I say too. And Tilda says, I love my creative mind and my quirky side. She looks really happy. <gasps> but, 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 but. I haven't always felt this way. I used to believe that I wasn't okay. Loving myself wasn't always the case. It took a long time to get to this place. <gasps> so let's go back and discover more and let's find out how I felt before. Who wants to find out how Tilda felt before? I sure do. Let's see. <gasps> Hi, I'm Tilda. I'm an awkward, kooky, and moody girl full of feelings that spin and swirl. I don't like who I am and I don't like what I do. I think weird thoughts and I act strange too. And Tilda says, why am I so weird? Oh, why did I say that? But when I play at the park or walk down the street, I pretend I'm the happiest kid you could meet. I smile and I laugh <laughs> and I'm very polite. I hide my true feelings far out of sight. So if you met Tilda at the park or on the street, not right now, because I know we're all in our houses for a little while, but you'll be out again soon. This is what Tilda would say if you met her. Oh, hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm Tilda and I'm the happiest girl in the whole wide world. But she would not be telling the truth because one minute I'm mad, the next second I'm sad. Sometimes I feel great, other times I feel bad. My emotions are one big roller coaster ride, but I keep my thoughts locked up inside. She says, Ugh, I need to hide all of my emotions. Ugh. Oh, what do you see? I see Tilda's diary. Now it says top secret, but she says it's okay if we peek. Who would like to peek? I would like to peek. So let's see what Tilda wrote in her diary. Ooh. Dear diary, today I woke up and I can't explain why. I feel really nervous. I might even cry. I don't want to smile and I don't want to play. I wish these blah feelings would just go away. Ugh, Tilda. She's not very happy. <gasps> Dear diary, I don't think it's normal to be feeling so down. These dark clouds aren't leaving, they're sticking around. Ugh, I bet tomorrow will be the same type of day. No blue skies or sunshine, just a sky full of gray. Oh, and she says the sun will never come out. Blah, blah, blah. I might see something in the corner, I don't know. Maybe you see it too. Oh no, I don't know. Let's see how Tilda's feeling now. Dear diary, it's not fine to feel gloomy. It's foolish when I cry. My tears must always, always be dried. My friends will only like me if I act like a clown because how could anyone love a girl with a frown? Oh, so sad, Tilda. So every morning I put on a mask, I wear a big smile so that no one will ask, Tilda, is there something wrong? You've been grumpy all day long. And Tilda says, I really hope my smile hides how sad I am. 
Pretending to be happy is hard to do, and trying not to worry is tricky too. Living this way each day isn't fun. Things must change. Something must be done. And she says, hmm, what should I do? <gasps> so let's fast forward in time a few years. Let's see what I did with my feelings and fears. <gasps> she says, I finally decided what to do. <gasps> Yahoo! Who wants to find out what Tilda decided to do? I do. <gasps> One day I decided to be bold and brave. I showed the real me and crawled out of my cave. I told my friends I felt worried and blue and then I waited to see what they would do. Oh, so Tilda says, hey guys, here I am, this is me. This is how I really feel. I bet she's a bit nervous, wondering how are they going to react? <gasps> Instead of running away or laughing at me, they said I was created perfectly. They said, Tilda, we love you just as you are. You're one of a kind, a bright shining star. <gasps> Do you see what her friends say? They say, we love you, you're a star. And this friend says, we have those feelings too. She's not alone. <gasps> We're back in her diary. Let's see what she writes now. Dear diary, I didn't need to pretend to be strong. I sure wish I hadn't waited so long to share my true feelings and show the real me. I feel so relieved and I feel so free. She says, so happy, Tilda. So always, always, always remember. <gasps> Feeling gloomy is fine. It's not foolish to cry. Tears don't always need to be dried. You don't need to run away or hide and feelings should never be locked up inside. And Tilda says, it's okay to cry. <gasps> and never, 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 ever, ever, ever forget. <gasps> well, number one, you're not weird because everybody has good days and bad and everyone feels happy and sad. Moods go up, down, and every which way. It's part of life and it's more than okay. You're awesome. Clouds are never here to stay. Tomorrow is a brand new day. Blue skies will return and the sun will shine bright. There's no need to worry. It'll be all right. Here comes the sun. The light is always there. <gasps> so love who you are and what you do. All of your thoughts and the things you say too. And if your feelings spin and swirl, just remember the tale of Tilda Whirl.